Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to study the types of operating systems. First, we will study about batch operating systems. In batch operating systems, jobs with similar types of needs are batched together and run as a group. The user of batch operating system never interacts directly with the computer. Every user prepares his or her job on an offline device like a punch card and submit it to the computer operator. Another type of operating system is time sharing operating system. In time sharing operating systems, each task is given some time to execute. The time that each task gets to execute is called quantum. After this time interval is over, operating system switches over to the next task. These operating systems are also known as multitasking systems. Next type of operating system is multiprocessor operating system. In this case, a single computer system uses two or more processors. These multiple processors are in close communication. They share the memory, computer bus and other peripheral devices. In multiprocessor operating system, all the processors work by using a single operating system. Next is network operating system. These operating system run on a server and provide the capability to manage data, users, group, security, applications and other networking functions. These type of operating systems allow shared access of files, printers, security, applications and other networking functions over a small private network. Next is distributed operating system. In this type of operating system, multiple central processors are used to serve multiple real-time applications and multiple users. In this, the jobs of data processing are shared in processors accordingly. All processors are connected by valid communication mediums such as high-speed buses and telephone lines and in which every processor contains its own local memory. Next is real-time operating system. Real-time operating systems are the operating systems that are used in real-time applications where the data processing must be done in a fixed interval of a time. Real-time system can be hard real-time systems. In hard real-time systems, there is some deadline for executing the task. It means that the task must complete its execution within assigned duration of time. Real-time system could be soft real-time systems. In soft real-time system also, we assign a time to each processing, but some delaying in time is acceptable. 